All right, these are gonna be the steps for preparing the printer for a print. This is an under three. And the first step is to check the filament recommendations. Um, right here you see it's PETG. The printing temp is between 220 and 250. Um, I found this particular one prints well at 240. So that's where my settings are. Which leads us to the second step, which is to turn the printer on. So you're going to flip this switch. Then you're going to ensure that the bed is clear and clean. So I'm just going to blow on it. Looks like there aren't many dust particles and I don't see any plastic still stuck to the bed. Um, if there was something, you would possibly scrape away the plastic or take this top off and take the bathroom wash it with soap to get the oil off. Okay, next thing you're going to do, you're going to go to this screen. Some of these screens are a little bit different. This one, you're going to go to prepare. The others, you're going to go to temperature. You're going to go to preheat ABS. Preheat ABS. Now, if you were not configured to the correct settings, then you would come and you would go to I think it's control. Control. And you're going to go to, oh, it's like temperature. And then you're going to go to preheat ABS configuration. And this is where you would set your nozzle temperature and your bed temperature. And then you would store the settings. And it will beep like that. Okay, mine are set. Um, I'll show you. You just you click on here and you can adjust. Now the temperature, I'm going to set it back to 240, and then you would go and store your settings. And to go back, you go to the top. Okay, so your next step is to push filament through, and if it comes out straight, then the nozzle is clear. You push the filament by pinching this lever, and then it will allow you to push some filament at the end. And this is what it's going to look like if the nozzle is clear. Your next step is to auto home by going to prepare auto home. So you can see the, the nozzle is about the same level as the bed. Then your next step is to disable the steppers, which will either be in prepare or it will be in movement on this screen. Um, this is an older printer, so it's under prepare. So now it is time for me to level the bed, which is a little bit warm right now because I have preheated it. This is fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a piece of paper underneath. I'm gonna put the nozzle. I'm gonna put the nozzle right over this little screw with the spring. I'm going to I'll initially loosen by turning counterclockwise, turning the uh, knob counterclockwise, and then I'm going to let the bed come up by turning clockwise and I will get it tight enough so that I can't push the paper underneath but I can still pull the paper and then I'll move to the next corner and do the same thing got it pretty quick there Done. That one's done. Now you're going to go around twice because as you 
adjust each corner, it's going to affect every other corner. So this is the second pass is to fine tune what you did on the first pass. polypropylene beds I leave the sheet of paper on top and then I'm going to I'm going to auto home it again which is under prepare auto home at this point you can print from your card For the next step, and potentially the final step, you're just going to make sure that your uh, your layer is sticking. Let's get a good shot of that. And it looks like this layer is sticking. If it did not stick, you would have to essentially start over. You'd stop the print by going here. And it will tell you stop the print. In which case you'd you'd have to start over. You'd have to wa uh, wash this off if it wasn't sticking for that reason. Um, you could possibly make it work by using the Z hop to go up or down, which I'm not going to do right now, so it doesn't make the print. Um, Yeah, troubleshooting, that's going to be our next unit.